Hello everyone, welcome to another episode. Um, I feel like it's been ages since it's just been um, you and me on the boat <laughs> working. So there's no wind and the sun's out, so we all know what that means. Sanding, grinding and painting. So what's left to sand and grind and paint, I hear you say. And yes, there's still more, lots more, but what I'm going to be working on today is this side of the pilot house, which is letting Melody down. Um, the port side we haven't touched. So as you can see, it still looks pretty rubbish. So there's lots of scale underneath this lip along here and obviously some bits around these windows. Um, I also want to try and get this um, Genoa track off. Um, so I'm going to have to send Jack inside because there's nuts and bolts on the inside and then yeah i'm gonna go from there so if you remember uh last year i think it was last year um i did the other side so there's little spots that we've got to go back over again and things like that um and i didn't have the needle gun working um so last year um i couldn't get all the scale from underneath the um lip that comes over the pilot house i'll show you here this lip just here um, so I will need to go along this bit too it's not too bad um, and it's obviously it's only had one coat of paint um, but I need to go under this side too um, and just get those bits of scale off now I've got the um, get those bits of scale off now I've got the needle gun I should probably hand these out to the people that are sitting in the pub over there having a nice quiet drink I will just say we're not taking the windows out unless we have to obviously that's something that we can do once we're floating and once we've moved closer to home or anyway they're not leaking they're not causing us any problems um, so obviously at some point we will take them out and rebed them um, but we don't need to do that to float I also know from past experience if it's not leaking don't touch it <laughs> what's that saying if it ain't broke don't fix it <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome on board our new patrons while Mum's working hard. Lauren, Peter, Keppel, Wilhelm, Olafur, Stott and Sarah. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world to us. I thought before I go any further I should take this track off because I want to sand all the way down here and along here. There are 28 screws and I want to take both sides off. There's a surprise, they're not coming out. I have loosened a couple already. Right, so that section is kicking my butt up so I'm going to move on to it. I've sprayed some, some more penetrant in there and hope that it does its job. I started put, um, sanding this um, and I thought this is probably a bit of a momentous occasion and we should get it on film. It's the last, last of Jabula. Um, 
We're just sounding the last of the names off the boat. to get there slowly this um this lip here is giving me loads of problems though so I'll carry on with that tomorrow and you may have noticed that the may uh the genoa track defeated me um i'm gonna need andy's help to get that off so i think i'm almost pretty much done with the side of the pilot house. It has kicked my butt. <laughs> um, I haven't been able to get the Genoa track off. Um, however, Andy's coming tomorrow, so we'll have a look at that together. I actually, looking at it um, and having cleaned up round it and underneath it, um, it doesn't look like there's any scale underneath it. So if, providing I can get to the scale round the side of it, um, we might just keep it in place for now and um, just paint paint round it, um, reseal um, the screws that I've already taken out um, and I think they were the few that were leaking um, so reseal those and um, stay with it, leave it as it is and um, when we need to take it off we'll take it off. Um, I've tackled under this lip which has been the biggest pain. Um, the scale along there was so stubborn, the metal's not particularly thin, obviously it's thinner than thinner than it was originally um but the stubble the, the stubble the, <laughs> the scale um is just was just really tough and it's not a structural part so if the metal is a bit thin in places that's absolutely fine um i have managed to get it all off i think fingers crossed um it looks it looks fine what i'm actually going to do which I don't normally do is um paint some aqua steel on that overnight because what it does um the axe still does is it will go black in places where there's rust um, so it'll actually show me if I've missed anything so then I can go over that tomorrow um, so that's just under that lip I need to spend a bit more time with a Dremel um, and just go around these windows um, yeah back tomorrow carrying on paint tomorrow <laughs> Yesterday I um, ground all the welds back here and along here, there's still one to do here. Um, this, uh, when Andy welded it in, he just whacked some paint, paint on it to stop the whole cockpit rusting. Um, but I'm going to have to take this back with the turku because it's still got, um, what do you call it, mill scale on. Um, and also along the sides here and then just sort of blend it all in. Um, I need to do round this aft cleat. Um, and then just sand everything flat. And do you like my top? I, I made it. Um, boat hair, don't care. So when I go down the shop and everyone's looking at me because I'm a complete and utter scruff and my hair's all over the place, they know why. <laughs>
I'm just gonna have a wander around the boatyard and show you some things. Um, well, Mum's slaving away at the boat, looking like a peasant with a <laughs> little hat. Do I look silly in my hat, Jack? A bit. <laughs> and your apron. I'm showing you around the yard for quite some time, um, so I'm going to give you a quick tour because the yard people are tidying things up and moving some boats down. By the way, um, if you're wondering why I'm why my hair is so long, it's not because Mum um, hasn't bothered to cut my hair at all. Um, it's just I'm growing my hair, which is what Mum calls it to look like Thor, even though I'm not. I'll get all the girls in the Caribbean. <laughs> That's not weird. You can hear mum making a racket in the distance. And at least they finally moved that huge, gigantic half a pipe that mum has stabbed herself many times with accidentally. Why is this like a hole in her foot, like this big? Sometimes when it when it's high tide, you can see fishies um, swimming around down here. What is this? I have absolutely no idea. Where's Bonnie's mask on? And then, um, can anyone tell me? You see, um, this boat. Um, there's this weird thing here. Does anyone know what it is? Um, please tell me what it is in the comment. Does anyone know what kind of boat that is? It's called Pathfinder. Or was that one called Pathfinder? No, this one's called Pathfinder. I really, really love this boat. It's got a huge bowsprit. Am I heading away? Um, by the way, um, mum and dad getting married, so I think I would like to buy this boat for him. Dad said he would. Dad said he would. Re he really likes this boat. I think a monster lives down here. Um, I've just washed down the side decks and um, and those areas, scrubbed them and everything to get the dirt out. Um, so I'm just waiting for those to dry, and then painting. So earlier on in the episode. You saw me trying to get the sail track off. We discussed it with Andy. The rust is, is um, fine. We've I've managed to get rid of all the scale. Underneath the sail track, there isn't any rust. Um, it's tight to the deck. It's not sort of expanded or anything like that. So we will eventually change it. Um, we're going to go with barber haulers. But for now, this will be fine to get us floating and get us round to Pacelli.
So I finally got the plane on the pilot house and along the side deck. Um, I've got to go over and um, obviously it needs another coat, but I need to remove, I only got, still got to remove the masking tape on the sail track um, and scrape off all the um, paint from the windows because I dripped some on there. But I'm really happy, it's looking great. Um, just looking forward to getting the last bits epoxied. Um, then it means that we can sand the whole thing and get a final coat um, once the chain plates have done and there'll be no more sort of grinding and stuff up here um, for quite some time. So that's five red jobs taken off the list. But anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, your support means the world to us and um, we love reading all your comments. Um, so I ho really hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you next week. Bye bye.